Welcome friends, James Corbett here, April 2nd, 2018, with an important update to something I just released over the weekend. If you are keeping track of my newsletter, you will know that the latest one, the Petroyon, uh, was born this week. Here's what it means, was released this past Saturday, and in it, I talk about the launching of the new yuan-denominated oil futures contract on the Shanghai uh, International Energy Exchange, dubbed SC1809. Isn't that a an interesting little sobriquet. But uh, there it is. There's information about it in this editorial. And for those who can't afford the $1 a month to become a website member and read the subscriber editorial, you can always get free access to the editorial. It's always there in the links. So you can go click over to the free version of this editorial. Here it is with um, all of the information you need about this new uh, Petro Yuan contract. And uh, as I say in this, the long term vision that uh, China is obviously pursuing in conjunction with many of its allies is that of the replacement of the petrodollar system, the bypassing of the petrodollar system. But as I also say in this editorial, this is not what this new uh, yuan denominated oil futures contract means in the short term. Because if you read uh, the fine print on this, uh, you'll see that. Uh, at the beginning, U.S. dollars can be used as deposit and for settlement of this SC-1809 contract. In the future, more deposits, the currencies will be used as deposit. So for the first time, foreign investors can purchase uh, and speculate on uh, yuan-denominated oil futures contracts, but they are doing so at least at this precise moment in U.S. dollars, dollars in, dollars out. It's just yuan-denominated. That's just the uh, the pricing. So this is obviously to set a global oil benchmark or to, uh, to if not challenge, at least supplement the Brent crude and WTI benchmarks uh, with a Chinese one, SC1809, and to get a, a reliable price in yuan. Uh, but as I mentioned in here, uh, this is obviously just the first step, and what they really need to do if China is serious about pursuing this as a true um, bypass of the petrodollar system is to ultimately get the yuan uh, exchanged more uh, in, in actuality, in direct exchange uh, for their oil, or to even use third parties, uh, uh, different countries that aren't even trading with China directly, to trade in yuan for their oil purchases. Obviously, we're a far away uh, off from that. But, breaking news update, as I was penning this editorial, which I suggest you do go and read for yourself, this just came out across the newswires, exclusive China taking first steps to pay for oil in yuan this year, according to sources. So, take it for what it's worth, these are, uh, you know, un unverifiable sources coming from uh, Rothschild Reuters, but at any rate, they are reporting that China is taking its first steps towards paying for imported crude oil in yuan instead of the U.S. dollar. So this is direct exchange with oil suppliers in Yuan. And of course, who is uh, top of the list? Uh, Russia, obviously, and Angola. Um, but yes, if Russia starts trading with China in Yuan, directly selling oil for Yuan, that is a huge part of the missing piece of the puzzle that I was writing about in this editorial. And it's looks like it's already underway, or at least the preparatory steps are already being engaged. Now, um, as always, believe it when we see it, and we'll have to, you know, let's not hold our breath. But uh, if Russia starts uh, buying or selling oil to, to China directly in yuan, I think the only other missing piece of the puzzle to really start putting the, uh, the stake in the heart of the petrodollar vampire is the Saudi-Chinese relationship. And China is working on it. They are already trying to ply Riyadh with the, hey, your Vision 2030 lines up with our Belt and Road Initiative. We should start doing more direct uh, direct business. And you have uh, PetroChina buying up companies all along the, the Belt and Road Initiative. This is part of a big, big piece of a puzzle that is coming together right now that is huge. It is absolutely huge in its implications. And I know it's not exactly sexy to be reading about, you know, trade in oil trade in yuan, um, but it is exceptionally important to the development of the global monetary order as it exists right now and as it's likely to exist in the near future, if it is allowed to continue that way. And of course, that is a big if, because we have seen other players step up to the plate to try to challenge the petrodollar in the past and even in some small way and we know what happens to those as i point out with that uh, infamous 2003 guardian article from february talking about for some reason saddam hussein is trying to trade oil in euros now instead of dollars and well, i wonder what that means and then of course we know what happened a couple months later so we know where this could lead 
but all I'm saying is the there are some huge shifts taking place right now, and you would not be hearing about them if you're just skimming the headlines. Uh, I suggest you go and read through this editorial and this highly relevant update and start putting your thinking cap on as to what this means for what's coming in the uh, potentially very near future, not quite so long term. Anyway, I just thought I would share this uh, update with you. I think it's extremely important information. I hope you get it out to everyone. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com.